Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for joining me. I am so, so excited today because I am collaborating with Debs, one of the most beautiful people I have met online recently. And her channel is this one just here and her Instagram. Please go check out her video because we have collaborated on the new Burberry Essentials Glow Palette. So she has gone for the 01 and I have gone for the 02 in medium dark. Hello everyone, my name is Deborah and I'm from London. I am so excited to be collaborating with the beautiful Sunny, who is a fellow beauty blogger and content creator. Just a little bit about me. So I'm a huge beauty and skincare enthusiast and I pride myself on honest reviews. I used to work for the Estee Lauder group, mainly Bobbi Brown and also NARS. So I worked in the beauty industry for, for some years. Everything that I share with you, tips and tricks, comes from my own experience of working for some high-end brands, um, working with some of the best of the best, some talented colleagues, and being lucky enough to meet and work with some of the best makeup artists in the world. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you on my channel. So thank you so much for watching my channel and Debs' channel. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to both our channels. We would really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy what we have to offer today. So guys, as I said at the beginning, we're going to do the new Burberry Essentials Glow Palette. So I'm going to open this up for you. I've had this for a few days and I have to say it has been so hard not opening this. So I'll just show you the colours. So we've got the cream colour here and then the powders here and this is in the medium to dark. So Debs has done the 01 which I think is called Harmony. I'm not sure but she's got the light to medium and this is the medium to dark. So on my skin I have my Chanel Le Beige and I have my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on. So what I thought I might do is I'm going to compare this obviously to the Hourglass New Ambient Sculpture Palette. Um, to test whether six is better or four is better pan and um, but let's try this on first so because I have no eye makeup on we are going to use this as eyes as well so I'm going to take my NARS Uchio brush which can be used for powder or cream products and I'm just dipping in to the contour shade And just mapping out some contour. So far so good. I don't normally go this deep on my contouring. I think that's done a really nice job. Let's contour down the side of the nose. So you can visibly see there. So what I'm going to do is take this stippling brush and I'm going to do the hourglass bronze on this side for you. So load up the product you want to start at the back and you can always pull your contour forward so you can see this is darker but the hourglass is by no means too light Now I'm going to take some of the deeper bronze shade, which is the Sculpt Medium Brown, to provide a bit more definition. Wow, that's come up straight away. That's really good. So you don't have to use both. I'm finding this slightly patchy. I don't know if you guys can see. It's 
not as smooth. So now I'm going to do the blush. I'm going to start with the orange one first. That is really nice. So now I'm going to do the blush from the Hourglass. I know essentially they're different colours but it's to show you the comparison to see if you prefer one or the other. So I'm going to blend that a little bit. I have to say on camera they're both looking very similar and very nice but there's definitely a highlight shift to the Burberry. I'm going to go ahead and do the pink Burberry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it a little bit higher just for fun. That's nice too. That's actually a really nice combination guys. So I don't have obviously another blush to do in the hourglass but what we're going to do is now check the highlighters so i am going to swatch these for you but here are the two highlights from the hourglass palette so one's a bit more warm and one's a bit more cool highlight rose gold which is the bottom one load up the brush and place wow First of all, it's very, very bright. However, there's something chalky about these Burberry ones. You saw how definite it was until I blended it. But you can see it nonetheless. Champagne, rose gold from Hourglass. It's just so soft focus, guys. Look at it. This looks better now, but I can see it a bit. Whereas this is blending into my skin and melting. And this is kind of sitting on my skin. So now I'm going to take the Burberry. I'm going to take the medium sculpt shade. And I'm going to sculpt in my crease of my eye. Because essentially what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to see if we can use these all in one. It's blending so beautifully on the eyes. I'm going to go for the same look on each eye because that will make it fair. And then I'm going to take the lighter highlight shade and put that all over the lid because I didn't highlight with that. which I think is a bit too bright for me. So I'm going to layer on top the rose gold. Wow, that's bright. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to take the bronzer shade. I'm going to take the bronzer shade and sculpt my eye area. So this one has far more pigment than this, but remember this is a bronzer. But I quite, I quite like it, it's quite light. And then I'm going to take the champagne colour and put that on my eyelids. Can you see that's more stark? But that's okay. Can you see, you can see the edges of the Burberry, I think, whereas you can't see the edges of the hourglass. So guys, I'm back. I've done my makeup. I've put some hourglass mascara on. It's the new Unlocked Mascara. I have a review of this. I actually have two. Um, I'll link them down below. I just asked my husband 
which side of makeup he liked the best and he said he liked this eye but this cheek so I had a quick look at the makeup and I'm just having a look at it again and I think that the Burberry is a little bit patchy and you know it's definitely not my base because my base is the Chanel and it's tried and true the brush is world-renowned amazing um, I think Hourglass just do the powders amazingly. Um, this isn't to knock Burberry, but I'm not sure if I can be ready to say that it's beaten uh, the Hourglass. Let's get some swatches done. On my lips, I have my favourite Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colour from MAC. I have a whole video dedicated to this as well in a collab with Steffi Glam. Please check those videos out. And I absolutely adore this colour. I put a bit in the middle of my lips and then I used a brush to apply it. It's the perfect pumpkin for fall type situations. Let's do some swatches. So let's swatch all of the Burberry. So this definitely is a cream. That's the sculpt. That's the nude gold highlighter. And that's the rose gold highlighter, which is my favorite from the Burberry palette. They are the swatches from the Hourglass palette. Um, you can see straight away the difference. The Burberry palette is completely medium dark. This one needs building. So the reason I wanted to compare these two was purely because they're both new and you can see that there's obviously six in one and four in one, but which one do you really need? Do you like more of a mauve pink blush? Do you like more of the orangey pink bright blush? And it will help you either to decide both one or none. So always trying to give you the best information. As a final verdict, my favourite palette has got to be the Hourglass. This doesn't necessarily lose, but I'm going to have to use it a little bit more. I think I need to do some perhaps some IGTV videos. Um, I think it looks fabulous. It's really nice aesthetic. It's, you know, it's a firm, sturdy product, but Hourglass know their powders. So for me, it's a win on the Hourglass. You obviously need to check out what Debs has done with hers and obviously look at the colour for that comparison on her video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, the win is the Hourglass for me, but check this out if you don't like the colours in this or they are too fair or dark for you. It's totally up to you. Don't forget to enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway. The video is coming. I just need to sit and film it and show you every product that I've got. But there's Pat McGrath, Chanel, Dior, Charlotte Tilbury, La Mer. Um, and what else is in there? Oh, some Laniège products in there, some skincare. I have put a few drugstore things in there because I've bought so much for this giveaway because it means so much to me that you sit here and watch me and listen to my tips and tricks and comment. Don't forget to comment below on what you want to see, any ideas, or just say hi to me. So uh, thank you so much, and I shall see you in the next one.